Excited for Hamilton. Well, earlier today, the Grandover Village Shopping Center crews broke ground for Greensboro's newest Chick-fil-A. The new location is exciting, but what tops that is the owner's story about opening up this new franchise. WFNY News 2's Jalen Gilkey went to check it all out, and he joins us with more. And what a story it is for Andrew White and his family. They're super excited to be back home. After five years in the Midwest, this Ragsdale High alum and his family are headed back to where it all started. From working at the Wendover Chick-fil-A as a teen to seeing his dream become his reality. It's surreal. I mean, it's it truly is a homecoming. Um, you know, we when we left in 2015 and moved to Wisconsin, we didn't think there was a chance to come back to North Carolina. Although we had that desire and we loved that idea, we just didn't think it was going to be possible. Andrew White started working at the Wendover Chick-fil-A at the age of 16, and it didn't take long before he knew he wanted to stick with the company for life. So my Chick-fil-A career began in April 2006 for operator Ed Ayers. He hired me on when I was 16 years old. And a month into it, I knew I wanted to be a Chick-fil-A owner-operator. And that's exactly what Andrew has done. He has been the owner-operator of a Chick-fil-A in Iowa City since 2018. But starting June 2021, he will be the operator of his hometown Greensboro, North Carolina's newest Chick-fil-A. I think my encouragement to everybody would be just pursue your dreams, you know, and truly anything is possible. As of right now, the plan is to have this new location open up in June. No exact date as of now, but I know direct, our director Brad Lowry is pumped to have a new Chick-fil-A <laughs> coming, to, coming to town. I'm sure Christian Morgan's excited too. <laughs> I just, I, I mean, what a great story, you know, just, uh, you know, started from the bottom and, and now, now, we're, now here. we're here, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I just, you know, such a great story that, you know, started as a teenager working mm -hmm. at a different um, Chick-fil-A and then, you know, you realize your dreams and you go and pursue them. Yeah. And it was great. Mr. Ed and all the other operators from the triad were also there in support of Andrew and his family. It was just kind of a full circle moment for him. He got a little emotional, which is very understood because like he said, this has been his dream since he was 16. Yeah, and as you said, full circle moment. And to think he started when he's 16 and now he's going to be running this operation. So he knows the ins and out of, of everything. He's worked behind the counter. Now he knows the leadership roles. And I'm sure he's gotten a lot of great mentors along the way as well. Absolutely. And the Chick-fil-A uh, operator community is one, like I saw today, that truly comes together and supports each other. Uh, he worked at a, he was GM out at a Chick-fil-A out in Raleigh wow. as well. He's been all across, like he went to school and when he finished school at NC State, he went right to Raleigh, he was GM there and he's been on it ever since. And today's the day, well, not technically today, but <laughs> right, right. we're close. It was an important day today. You Very. know, I haven't been over to Grandover Village in a while, but um, it looks like it's really starting to blow up out there. Oh man, it's blowing up. They're right in the parking lot, right uh, in front of Publix. They show parking lot with Publix. Oh, they got wow. a new apartment complex going up behind the Publix as well. Got a couple other shops in the little strip there. It's just continuing to grow and grow as our city expands. Can't wait to make my way over there. Right, absolutely. <laughs> right over to Jamestown. 